since the day Devon found out that Levan does not like to discuss the Hermes match, probably because he didn't fully dominate Hermes, Devon has been discussing only that. And now he has taken it one step further by discussing the practice pull footage between Levan and Rivaz Lutidze, where Levan didn't do so well. This video has been uploaded by Devon on his members only page, so you can become a member and watch it for yourself. So apparently this practice pull is from more than a year ago and we don't know who was more tired but it looks like Revaz was able to take Levan's wrist a couple of times. First right in the center and then towards Levan's winning side when he went for a surge to pin Revaz. And this is what Devon is bringing up right now. This maybe shows a vulnerability in Levan's game or maybe it doesn't because we have seen Levan getting pinned by Irakli Zirakashvili as well. That right there should tell you that this means nothing. But Rivaz is really tall and as Devon was himself saying that almost every single arm wrestler in this world has some troubles against a long arm good top roller. So is that Levan's weakness too? We all know that in 2018, Rivaz gave Levan his toughest match and was able to almost crack his wrist back at that WAF championship. So is this the case even now? If a match between these two giants happen, can Rivaz still give a good match to Levan? Well, maybe or maybe not. But people are also saying that this practice pull is the exact reason why around that time Rivaz was sounding so confident on Engin's podcast about discussing a potential match with Levan in the future and he liked his chances of winning in that super match. So let's get back to Levan one more time. Little bit of trouble against Revaz, long arm top roller. Dimitri Trubin, that first round top roll wasn't so comfortable. Even Dimitri moved slightly on the offensive side and we have seen after that it was a decline in Dimitri's game. Vitali Lalitin round 1. Even in that low hand top roll position, Levan wasn't able to out top roll Vitali initially. His side pressure was so much that Vitali's elbow went off the pad. But his wrist kind of stayed intact just for that first start. And Levan wasn't also able to fully destroy Devon's wrist in the first round. But we have seen a trend. First round, maybe you got something for Levan, but after that, it becomes more and more easier for him. And maybe that is going to be the case in this match as well. Everyone's talking about Levan's endurance, but I don't think he's going to need any endurance if he's just maybe 5-10% stronger than Devon. I am going to beat Levan in 12 days. The Titan will fall. The unbeatable, unbreakable Titan of arm wrestling will fall. Leading up to the match with Hermes, he was at his strongest. He had no excuses. His arms were massive and then after the match, there are the excuses. So Devon is really putting all of his energy, all of his focus on that weak spot that he has found on the giant. And until now, it seems to be working well unless Levan is one of those beasts who performs even better when he's more mad. And Devon revealed more stuff about Levan. He said that Levan is not healthy because he's still looking for some treatment. That is good enough for Devon to know that this match is already over. Levan cannot beat him. Devon gave some props to Hermes Gasparini as well. He said that yes, the Jerry Cadret match wasn't so difficult for Hermes. He probably came out unscathed from that match. But still, you are in a vulnerable state when you compete like that. When you compete at world level, two and a half weeks after the match, you are very, very vulnerable, very weak. So Devon really appreciates Hermes for that and he acknowledges that that probably wasn't the best Hermes Gasparini that could have showed up if he had more time to train for Devon. And that's why Devon said that he is willing to step up for Hermes Gasparini if in future one of his opponents has to cancel the super match for whatever reason. And speaking of Hermes Gasparini's peak shape, his riser lift is already up to 57 kilos on the right arm and 52 kilos on the left arm. He has totally destroyed his previous records and I think that 57 kilo lift may be a world record as of now. Then he was doing some 
back pressure lifts on the preacher bench with 78 kilos multiple reps totally a beast on the table in the recent interview alex kordecha said that he has something special planned for his upcoming match against georgi swetkov and it is not a king's move so there you have it it has to be a press and most likely a flop press because we have seen georgi kind of struggle to finish guys who are good with their shoulder coming forward jerry kedret was a problem devon lerret was a problem and we have seen that kurdecha already has a good press on the left arm maybe he learned that or he transitioned that skill to the right arm as well and then this match may be very very interesting if not for the press then i think kurdecha may be in some trouble and yes i do know that he top rolled georgi in 2017 but as georgi claimed he had a minute long war actually i think he said a 5 minute long match against dimitri silaev or something like that that was the reason why georgi was easily top rolled by kurdecha thanks for watching like the video and subscribe